Hey everyone, so it feels like it's review day today and yeah, I'm in the mood to review stuff so hopefully some of you guys are finding these videos helpful. Um, as you can tell by the title, it's the Battle of the Brush Belts. I'm actually going to be reviewing the Sleek Brush Belts and the Sigma Brush Belts. I've been using them for a very long time now. Um, the Sleek one since last year and the Sigma one since um, earlier on this year. So I've had a feel of what the brushes are like. Um, I've been able to pick up my favourite brushes from each set and um, I feel like I can tell you guys a bit more about them now. So the first one is the Sleek makeup brush set and this one actually has 21 brushes. Two I think are missing and I think they're with my mum or my sister because they like to use my stuff. Every time I come back home I literally go back back to uni or back to wherever I'm going like half of my collection's gone like literally they just always use my stuff when I don't mind. Um, but yeah luckily the majority of the brushes are still in here so I feel like I still have some stuff to talk about. Um, so it comes with a fan brush, two fan brushes actually, I think this one's more for the neck and body area. That one's for highlighting and then a contour brush, a few eyeshadow brushes, um, it's a really nice big one, um, a foundation brush, a blush brush, a powder brush and a few other eyeshadow brushes. Um, it retails at £80, let me double check that, £80 and you can get it from the Sleek website, sleekmakeup.com. So the brushes are actually very good quality brushes, I found that applying my makeup using them were quite similar to when I was using um, either the MAC brushes or the Sigma brushes. Um, they give flawless finishes like for example the foundation brush is actually very good. It's very comparable to the MAC 190 brush and um, I would just apply this on my sort of like heavy foundation and just blend it in. And it's a really really good brush. Um, what else is there? There are two other brushes I really really like. These two are, they sort of remind me of the MAC 129. This one's slightly bigger than the MAC 129 and this one's slightly smaller than the MAC um, 129. I like to use this one in particular for my MAC MSF foundation and this is really good for um, applying um, blush and bronzer and the eyeshadow brushes that I really like are these ones right here. This one which is just a normal eyeshadow brush and this one which is like a thick eyeshadow brush. One thing that I don't like however is the fact that after washing them a few times they did bleed um, the black ones especially and this happened yep so the glue that was used to actually attach them I don't say well I don't know I don't think that it was very very strong um, it came off quite easily and it's a bit of a pain when I'm washing the brushes I'll be washing it and then it pops off and I just get really frustrated um, it happened like that to most of the brushes I actually have this one right here which is a really nice eyeliner brush but then the other one popped off and it just got lost so if I'd say that those, that's the only thing that really really cheesed me off about the brush set that it wasn't it was quite weak all of them they all kind of shift and um, you have to be very careful when you're washing them make sure that um, water that although I did make sure that water didn't get into the bristles too much and I always dried them sort of like facing down and never facing up but um, it still got quite weak and most of them started popping off which is quite annoying um, but if you can overlook that, it is quite a handy brush set to actually start off um, your makeup journey with. I'm just going to run through my top five brushes from this brush set again. Um, I love this big powder one um, and I like this blush one, the foundation one and these two eyeshadow brushes, so those are my favourite ones from the actual kit. Now onto the Sigma brush roll, now this one comes in sort of like a brush roll slash bag type thing and it holds all, how many are there? I think the 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Ooh, that was really way off, <laughs> 15, 15 brushes and it comes with a large powder brush, a blush brush, sorry, um, some like contour highlighting brush, a duo fiber brush, and these are sort of like um, concealer brushes. This one's a large concealer brush, this one's sort of like a thin concealer brush, this really thick eyeshadow brush, 
and um, a few other brushes, I, um, eyeshadow blending brushes, wow, and a lip brush. Um, the sleek one came with a lip brush as well. Um, so this comes at how much? One hundred and thirty-nine dollars. You can get it from the Sigma Beauty website. And $139 in pounds is about £85. So I think the difference is, is not that much in terms of price. Um, the sleek one, however, I feel has more range in um, the brushes. Like I said, it's got geofi brush, more contour brushes, and um, some more brushes that are very, very similar to the MAC brushes I use. For example, this one is quite similar to the 217 by MAC. It does kind of the same thing. It blends my shadows very nicely. And the other one, which is very, very similar to the sort of like, which one is it? The 224 by MAC. It's another blending brush. I actually really like the Sigma brush um, kit. The brushes are very good. They're very good quality and they actually really are get my makeup applied nicely. Wow, I nearly forgot my words. I do like the compact nature of the brushes, so I can literally just put that packet away when I'm going on holiday or when I'm going somewhere for the weekend and I just don't know what to do. I just literally pick up my Sigma or the Sleek, but I think I, I tend to go for the Sigma a bit more because it's just a bit more compact and it closes everything in nicely. So I actually like the bag of this one. Um, one thing I don't like about this one as well is the fact that the brushes do actually bleed a lot. So my five favourite brushes from the Sigma set are these ones. This one which is a really nice contouring brush but I also find it's really good at applying liquid foundation. So it just really blends everything really nicely and I can apply my contour, my bronzer, my highlighter and my blush. So it's one of those multi-purpose brushes. And this one is the tapered highlighter brush but then it can be used for lots of different things. Um, the next favourite is this small eyeliner brush I use as my fluid lines or my cream eyeliners and it's just a really good brush to have it's quite similar to um, the MAC no I don't remember what it what it is but I know there's a MAC brush just like this and it's really really good I like this one for concealer so when I apply my foundation and I just want to touch up in areas where I have blemishes this one is really good at applying um, concealer and this is a concealer brush this one right here is very similar to the 217 by MAC it's just called a blending brush. Um, I like this one very well for applying my, I'm um, sorry, my, for blending my eyeshadows. And this one is the short shader brush, which is a very good brush for applying um, lots of shadow onto your um, eyelids. So if you want more of like a pigmented look, this is really good to apply in the shadow and then pass it onto your eyelids. Now it's time to decide which one I prefer the most. This is very difficult because I do like both of them. Um, they do pretty much the same jobs as my MAC brushes do. Um, and I can't really come to a decision. I can, however, say that if you are in the UK, I would go for the sleek one, purely because it's £80 and it would probably cost you about £3.50 to get it sent to your postal address. But if you were to get the Sigma one, you'd have to pay about £85, which is not that much more. However, when you're getting it sent to you, there might be custom duties that you have to pay, custom tax and like all of that stuff. And it can range from £14 to £35 to even more in some cases. Because I know I've ordered something from the US and it came to me and it was like four eyeshadows or something. And I had to pay like £35 in customs tax. I was like, what? Um, so yeah, you just I guess that's the only kind of down part to my friends here in the UK. If you really want them, I'd say, yeah, go for it because these are really good quality brushes. However, I don't know, I just can't seem to think that paying £35 more to get them is that sort of like economical, if that's the right word, when you can get a really good set from Sleek about the same price slightly cheaper however to my friends overseas if you actually have access to Sigma and they can actually ship it to you without sort of like fuss of customs and duties I'd go for it because it's actually a really affordable um, brush set that you can use when you're starting out with makeup if you don't know what brushes to get and you want to have a feel of what brushes to get and maybe you don't have enough money to spend on all of the MAC 
um, brushes because I think you'd have to pay so much more if you were to get the equivalent of these in MAC. Um, this is a really good affordable set to get and that's $139, $130 I believe. Um, it's a really affordable um, brush set. So both of them I like very well but obviously the difference is in like how you can get them, how much you can pay to get them and stuff like that. If you're in the UK, I say go for the sleek one, it's just as good quality as the Sigma one. If you're in the US or overseas where you can actually get access to Sigma, go for the Sigma one. So they're very, very good quality brush um, sets and I really just wanted to share them with you guys. And now that I feel like I've used them for quite a while, I feel kind of qualified to talk about them. Yeah, because there's no point in me talking about them when I just get them, isn't it? Um, so yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. I'll leave lots and lots of information in the information bar, so please check it out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!